you guys we just bought a new home we're gonna go check it out right now and you guys are coming with us hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so as you could see we bought a new home and I'm so excited about it if you're new here then you might not know that we actually rent out an apartment it's a really old building but the unit is really really big and that's what we like about old buildings I find that the condos in Toronto are just super small and although we do love our apartment we decided to get a pop-up trailer in order to escape during the summer every weekend possible at least as many as we can because summers here in Toronto or Canada in general are very short and we have to do the most we can with it so a while ago, I think it was my New Year's resolutions video, I was talking about how my goals for this year was to buy a pop-up trailer. And then Gabriel and I also have goals to buy a pop-up trailer. So we'll see how that goes. We want to have it for the summertime, obviously. I'm not sure if I want to buy a used one and then just remodel it. Gabriel kind of wants to buy a brand new one and just finance, which I'm kind of liking the idea more and more just because the cushions in there, like what if a kid peed on it, then I'm just going to be laying on that. Like this is the sick things that I think about. We ended up going with a brand new one. We were thinking about getting an older one that we could renovate ourselves, but considering it's already the end of July, we had to get something that was already fully done, no renovations to it at all, and it's beautiful. It was a little pricey, but... I'm obsessed with it. It's better than our apartment, which makes me want to actually renovate this apartment a little more. So if that's something that you guys would want to see on here, definitely let me know down in the comments. Obviously have to ask my landlord first if that's okay, and then we'll do as much as we can. But yes, the trailer is beautiful. This is it. The Silva Munoz home. <laughs> I had to come and hide in the shade because it's way too freaking hot out there and it's so humid too but we're gonna pop this open once we get home and then we'll show you guys what it looks like on the outside and on the inside so our baby's finally home Gabriel actually did a really good job at parking it considering this is his first time driving anything like this ready to crank her open I'm ready let's do it Pretty fast. Huh? That's pretty fast. It's loud. Okay. Oh wow. So we just went around, put the zippers down. It's on all four sides and then clip this onto the velcro so that it stays. So we got some steps. Should probably go first since I'm smaller. We gotta slide these guys out. So it turns out you can actually slide off the beds like the wings from out here. He's just trying to stabilize it a little bit. See how these little pegs here came down? They're on this side too, right up here. Whoa, where is it? And over here, yeah, right there. But um, we can't put these ones down because obviously, but we're just popping it open to get some practice in. Oh, would you open the door for me, mister? Come on in. Oh my God, are you sure this is stable? I don't want to go flying. I'm gonna go flying. All right, so this is our bed. We can maybe even put Charlie's bed right up here, if she fits. Maybe. Speaker for the porter. There's another bed over here. This one's a little smaller. And we can make a bed right over here as well. How many does this sit or sleep? I think six. Oh, wow. Yeah. So these seats right here, or this bed, you can actually pull back out and it has a table so you can eat here. Um, this little corner is just some storage. There's also a porta potty in there that I'm going to throw out because if my dad sleeps with us here and he needs it, he gonna use it and it's gonna stink in here forever. So tossing that guy out. There's a lot of storage. This is so cute. Honestly, this is better than my apartment. Damn. Can we just move right in here? Maybe, maybe eventually. Some curtains for up here. 
another fan this is our little kitchen our stove top seriously this is way better than my apartment the sink is pretty small but it's so cute what's in here oh for your sponges and stuff okay i get that i get it did you turn on the ac well oh there's a vent a vent i need that right now and over here what do we have here there's a fridge is it cold right now oh my god i'm so hot <laughs> Oh my god, tiny little cupboard. I don't know what the hell that's for, but. What else do we have here? Some USB, a radio, we've got Wi Fi. I'm super happy. I think I would really rather live here than our apartment. Oh my god, look at you. Look how much sweat I have. That's hot. That's hot. And this t shirt is so freaking thick. So you had to take that little mini door that was on there. And now we're able to attach this. Oh my god, I'm sweating so bad. This is your new home, boo. Yeah, Gabriel took the big door off just because it was getting way too hot in here. And we don't have any of this stuff running just yet. It was more just to prep it and see what it's going to look like. So, here we go. This over here is for cable. This is for water. I don't know what that is. An amp. Electricity. Electricity. <laughs> here we have a hose. Um, yep. Yep. And a shower. This has a shower head and everything. So I'm excited about that. Especially to clean this little one's patas before she gets in there. We had some friends come by and check out the trailer buddy Chris knows a lot about cars and he says this is apparently the Lambo of trailers so I'm pretty excited <laughs> now we're having a little picnic and that's it <laughs> um, I didn't finish vlogging the rest of the day just because we were celebrating we had our friends come over and I'm really thankful that we had friends that came out to celebrate because they are as happy as we are and because it is the end of summer or midsummer pretty much we're gonna stay local some provincial parks whatever private parks there are and then hopefully with the upcoming years we can be totally off-grid take more time off of work and then just maybe go to BC with it maybe head down to San Diego and park at beaches and stay there it's really really cool as you could see the trailer actually has an outdoor shower which I didn't really think it was necessary but this pop-up trailer is literally meant for you to be off-grid it's a lot higher off the ground which is perfect for the Jeep so you can go off-roading with it it has propane, electric fuel, it's got its little kitchen in there like you guys saw. It's got more than enough room to travel even with another family inside of there, which I'm hoping we can take my dad with us at some point as well. I don't think I've mentioned it on here, but I have a sister that just moved to BC, so going over to visit her with our trailer would be just so sick. I'm someone that has been camping their whole life in a tent. And then once Gabriel started dating me, he started doing the tenting as well. However, he wasn't very comfortable with it at the beginning just because the sounds of being outdoors doesn't allow him to sleep very much and then he's just not functional during the day. Although he eventually got used to it a little bit. And then Charlie as well, she has the worst time going camping. Like she loves being at the beach, she loves being outdoors. But the fact that she can't sleep well really makes her so cranky and she's just miserable. So I'm really excited because it's something new for me. It's something that we can all be a lot more comfortable in, especially Charlie. Like even before we went to go pick it up, all I kept thinking about was seeing Charlie on her side of the bed and just seeing like how happy and comfortable she's going to be. Come here, mama. Come here. We got the trailer for you. We got the trailer for you. No, I'm joking. It's for everybody, but I'm just really excited to see her on there and then just how she is living outdoors for a little bit. Bougie ass little dog. I'm just starting to realize I probably should have. 
ironed my shirt, but whatever. I don't know how long I've been ranting on here for. Yeah, we're really excited about this new journey and felt like I needed to vlog it just so that we could go back and watch these videos. And for the next trailer video, I guess we'll be out there with nature and you guys are coming with us. I will let you know that we went up to New Market. The place is called Mackenzie Trailers and we saw David there. He's awesome. Everybody in there, they give you like a whole little demo of how to crank her open, how everything gets put away and set up. They did an incredible job. We're really happy that we went with them. We're happy that we went brand new. Although renovating one would have been a lot of fun. Like I said, it's like late in the summertime already and we wanted to get out there like this. So we're really happy with the way it looks. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on how we went about it, then just let us know down below. I will get back to every single one of my comments like always. I love you guys and I will see you guys at the next one.